So we are from CinexR and we are going to showcase a new technology that has been developed. And here we have a demo with Intel. And uh, so this technology is called Foveated Streaming, okay, and Foveated AI. CinexR is basically a startup that came out of a research project uh, from KTH uh, together with Ericsson and Tubi Technologies, where we looked into how could you enable future uh, immersive mobile experiences. Uh, our solution is aiming for 5G networks. What we are looking into is how could you deploy mobile immersive media. Uh, and then we see that the 5G is the future of this. Uh, and with 5G, with very low latency, uh, we can optimize the video stream. I think this is the main benefit that we have in this collaboration with Intel that we can utilize their back-end resources and have both the foveated streaming uh, in sort of the Intel cloud, but also the foveated AI. So you can also do content analytics uh, and see and stream that information to the user. So what is in a nutshell? Um, foveated uh, streaming takes information from connected eye trackers that are on board of next generation headset like VR display or AR and stream this information to a remote location, in this case uh, part of the, of the Intel cloud. And from this edge, we stream an optimized frame back. So this allows us to basically uh, go to resolution that are unachievable today. So we can save 90% of bandwidth. And in this case, I'm going to show you basically 11K of uh, resolution streamed. And this is done actually utilizing a NUC, uh, in this case, at the Scanion from, from Intel. And this is enabled from this foveated streaming solution. So let's go. Now you see uh, this specific uh, video. This is an 8K uh, video. And in, in the first thing I want to show you is essentially how the system works. By uh, controlling the parameter of what we call foveated streaming, we can uh, basically tailor the system for specific individuals. So in this case, depending on my field of view, a smaller uh, high quality region might be sufficient. We can also lower, for example, the background uh, quality of the image, so increasing further the savings. In order to achieve this low latency, high quality follows my eyes wherever it moves, we need uh, basically to have um, a solution like 5G networks. So if we have low latency like in 5G, we can really reach significant bandwidth savings. The bandwidth savings can be transformed into processing savings, that therefore enabling to run this powerful system only with a NUC. Uh, another important component that we for which we use uh, the edge processing is the capability of utilizing our eyes as input device. So right now you can see that I'm looking at this specific person and now from uh, the edge, we, uh, the system knows that there is actually a person. So we are performing real time object detection over the actual video frame before sending this information to the user. Now also in this example, I'm also looking at specific digital signals that is available in this Times Square example, and I'm controlling videos all, uh, on the digital signals down there. So for example, if I look at the Stormtrooper, the system knows it, and in real time, the video switches to this Star Wars sort of related topic. So all in all, we are performing, apart from this object detection, we are also performing real-time analytics. So I'm counting the number of cars that this user is looking at, I'm counting the number of pedestrians this user is looking at, and also I'm basically creating augmentation all over the place. Uh, the last uh, very uh, interesting uh, solution, which might be very relevant, for example, for remote uh, operation case, is also the possibility of actually zooming in the content. So right now, by exploiting these zooming features, we can go beyond the resolution of the headset, which is 4K. So now with this zoom, we start by 5K, we can increase it to 6K, 7K, and 8K. So right now, what you see here is the equivalent of 8K ground video and then three videos simultaneously streamed. All of this is possible thanks to Foveated Streaming solution from CinexR and by the possibility of exploiting edge computing, um, in this case, provided by Intel.